So good day everyone. In this video lesson, we will discuss about theorems involving chords, arcs, and central angles. So in the first theorem, in a circle or an incongruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding central angles are congruent. So for example, uh, C Okay, magiging uh, equal lang no, yung BC natin, yung arc BC natin. So, in this uh, figure class, yung nasa right side. So, magiging equal lang to ang arc BC natin and then yung arc DE natin kapag yung angle BAC and angle DAE are congruent. Okay? So, kung anong sukat nito, nung angle nito, ganun din yung sukat nito. So, kung ano yung sukat nito, ganun din yung sukat dito. So, magiging equal sila kapag yung, uh, yung central angle natin dito ay equal sa angle dito. Okay? For theorem number 2, in a circle or in a congruent circle, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding chords are congruent. Like for example class, so in this figure, so kung yung AB natin ay equal sa BC natin, so again, kapag yung AB natin ay equal sa BC natin, so therefore, yung arc AB and yung arc BC natin equal na rin. Okay? So again, magiging equal lang yung arc AB natin saka yung arc BC natin kapag equal yung uh, chord AB natin doon sa BC natin. Okay? For theorem number 3, in a circle, a diameter bisect a chord and an arc with the same endpoints if and only if it's perpendicular to the chord. So, for example, in this illustration, okay, our GH, so kapag ganito class, Yung JH natin, this one, ay magiging equal sa HI natin. Okay, since uh, perpendicular naman yung ano natin, yung GI natin, oh, no? in our HI, HP rather. So, therefore, uh, yung measure nito equal sa measure dito. Okay, and then yung arc JP natin, yung arc GP natin, and yung arc PI equal din. So, using theorem number 3, using theorem number 3 class, so, itong part na to, okay, and then ito, equal yan sila. And then, itong arc PI natin and arc GP equal din. Okay, in a circle or in a congruent circle, two minor arcs are congruent if only if, okay? Okay, for theorem number 4, in the same circle, or in congruent circle, chords equidistance from the center are congruent. Okay, and for theorem number 5, we have... Okay, and for theorem number 5, in the same circle, or in congruent circle, any two congruent, Chords are equidistant from the center. So, kagaya nung nakikita nyo in the figure. Okay? Arc addition postulate. So, the arc addition postulate, the measure of an arc formed by two adjacent arc, is the sum of the measures of the two arcs. Example, adjacent arcs with exactly one point in common. So, like for example, yung figure natin dito. In circle A, yung arc DC natin and arc BC natin are adjacent arc. So, the sum of their measure is equal to the measure of arc DCP. So, kapag in natin yung arc DC plus arc CB, so that is equal to arc DCB. So, let's say the measure of arc DC is equal to 84 and the measure of arc CB is equal to 66. Then, the measure of arc DCB is equal to 84 plus 66, that is 150. 
sector of a circle. So, pag sinabi natin sector of a circle, so kagaya na nakikita niyo sa figure na to, so itong shaded, no? Yung part na naka-shaded, that is the sector of a circle. So, a sector of a circle is the region bounded by an arc of the circle and the two radii to the end points of arc. So, to find the area of a sector of a circle, get the product of the ratio measure of the arc over 360 and the area of the circle. So, yun muna ang kukunin natin. First, kunin natin yung uh, measure of the arc over 360. And then, after that, kunin natin yung area ng circle. Then, mumultiply natin yung dalawa. That is the, uh, ito yung uh, area ng shaded region na to. And may segment of a circle, ito naman, yung segment of a circle natin. A segment of a circle is the region bounded by an arc and the segment joining its end point. So, yun ang pag nagkaiba nila ng sector of the circle. So, for example, the radius of circle P is 4 feet. If arc CD, if the measure of arc CD is 80 what is the area what is the area of the sector CPD so kunin natin yung area na to so first ang unang gagawin natin kunin natin yung uh, determine first the ratio of the this part no and that is measure of an arc or measure of the arc over 360 and that is 80 over 360 that is equal to 2 over 9 and then Kunin natin yung area ng circle using the formula pi r squared. So, yung radius natin dito is 4 feet. So, isa-substitute lang natin sa r natin. So, that is pi times 4 feet or 4 uh, square 4 And that is equivalent to 4 times 4 or kasi 4 squared yan. That is 16 pi feet square or, or square feet. 16 pi square feet. So, so makukuha na natin ngayon yung area no, ng sector CPD. Paano nga ulit yun? I-multiply lang natin yung ratio natin and then the area of the circle. And that is, to get the product of the ratio and the area of the circle. So, that is the area of the sector CPD. So, 2 over 9 times 16 pi square feet. And that is 32 over 9 square feet. So, another example, we have the shaded region in the figure is a segment of circle O. It, it is the region bounded by AB. Okay, yung chord AB natin at yung arc AB natin. So, if the measure of AB, yung arc AB natin is 90 and the radius of the circle is 5 cm, then the area of the sector AOB is one-fourth of the area of the whole circle. Bakit one-fourth class? Kasi diba, sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, yung buong sukat ng circle natin is 360. So, kung ang sukat ng AB natin, o yung area nitong AB na is 90, so, ibig sabihin, that is one-fourth nung buong sukat ng area ng circle since 360 di ba 1 fourth and 360 is 90 so para makuha natin yung uh, ito yung area na to yung naka shaded so kailangan natin kunin muna yung area of the sector AOB okay so paano nga ulit kinukuha yon yung mumultiply natin yung ratio yung measure ng arc over 360 so that is what 90 divide 360, that is 1 fourth. Tama? And then, uh, yung area, yung area ng circle natin, that is pi r squared. And yung radius natin dito is 5 centimeter. So, 5 times 5, that is 25 pi square centimeter. So, therefore, the area of the sector AOB is equivalent to 25 over 4 pi square centimeter. And then, next natin kukunin is yung area ng triangle AOB. 
Okay, kunin natin yung triangle ng AOP and that is 1 half times So, uh, di ba base times height niyon R times 1 half times 5 times 5 and that is 25 over 2 square centimeter. So, to find the area, o oh, ito yung shaded region natin, to find the area of the shaded segment in the figure, so subtract the area of the triangle AOB from the area of the sector AOB. So, yung area ng triangle minus the area of the sector of AOB. So, 25 over 4 pi square centimeter minus 25 over 2 square centimeter and that is 7.135 square centimeter so pwede nyo yan i-check no, using your calculator pwede nyo ma-check yung sagot natin alright another we have the arc length so ano naman yung arc length the length of an arc can be determined by using the proportion, okay, A over 360 is equal to L over 2 pi R. So, yung A natin, that is the degree measure of the arc, tapos yung R natin dyan, that is the radius of the circle, and L is the arc length. So, in the given proportion, 360 is the degree measure of the whole circle, while 2 pi R is the circumference. Now, for example, we have an arc of a circle measured for 45 degree. So, if the radius of the circle is 6 cm, what is the arc length of the arc? Okay, so kukunin natin gamit itong proportion na to. So, given is yung A natin, the degree measure of the arc is 45 degree. And then, yung radius natin is 6 cm. So, ang kailangan natin kunin is yung arc length. So, using the proportion, A over 360 is equal to L over 2 pi R. So, substitute natin yung A natin which is 45 over 360 is equal to L over 2 pi since yung R natin is 6. And then, 45 over 360 that is 1 over 8 is equal to L over 12 pi. So, pag kukunin na natin yung arc length natin, so... Pwede kayo mag-cross multiply dyan. So, 8 times L, that is 8L, is equal to 1 times 12 pi, that is 12 pi. So, diba, since yung arc length yung kinukuha natin, yung, kumbaga ito yung L, so divide both side by L, ay 8, divide both side by 8, so that is L is equal to 12 pi over 8, or that is equal to 4.71. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.